Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be checking out and having a first-hand look at the all-new Hyundai Semi as a hydrogen electric big rig, the first of its kind. We're going to get a first-hand look at the interior design of it, driver space, and overall comfort and ride quality as we go along for a ride. Let's jump into today's video. All right, guys, so we found the Hyundai truck on the inside, and they're about to move it, but they said we can check it out really quick, so five minutes on the inside. Three points of contact. Wow, this is actually like really nice inside, like really nice. There's plenty of leg room. It goes back a little bit. Digital dash, 221 miles on it. They must have driven it here. Beautiful leather stitch steering wheel. This has a way nicer feeling and look than what you would expect from something not made in America. I'm not trying to speak bad on it whatsoever, but like, all right, so like I said, Push to start, that's crazy. Forward and reverse, you've got, let's say, a couple different gears there. Maybe that's braking gears, I'm not sure. We'll probably learn all this when we get to drive it tomorrow. Horn, everything up top, some more lights. Some nice big sun visors, though. Oh, even with a mirror so we can do our makeup. Shoot, check our hair. AC system, downhill descent, kingpin release. Airdrop, air slider. Looks like this must be all oh, charging ports in there and stuff for your phones and whatnot. But pretty standard. Not a bed in here. Nothing really crazy big. I'm sure they may offer something a little bit different. But fully hydrogen powered truck. And like Hyundai is like crazy advanced with their cars with the hydrogen power. Now they put the technology into a semi truck. Oh, it's got an air powered steering wheel too. That's cool. It must be a. Uh, it's got the same steering wheels. My first car. Oh, dude. Oh, I thought it like automatically leaned for a second there. It's just, it's a little stiff probably because it's brand new. Yeah, that's what it is. Pretty neat. The braking and pedals are something really similar to our Scania truck we have. I like it. I don't hate it. And look right here, you've got the visors that pull down. Oh, nice. That's kind of cool, ain't it? Yeah, pretty handy. Well, thanks to the folks at Hyundai for letting us hop in here and check it out. We're gonna go find this thing in the ride and drive tomorrow in a few hours, a few seconds for you guys. Same remote as our Scania truck has. Really, really similar. It's actually the same remote as our four series Scania. So it must be something that's kind of like universal across the board for, I wouldn't even call it European trucks. I'm pretty sure Hyundai is a Korean company, but now they're about to uh, move it. So this I think is the, Hydrogen engine, hydrogen motor. I don't know. I don't know how this works. Is that what it says? Air compressor, fuel. thermal management system, power. What is this, Ryan? That's the power distribution. Power distribution <laughs> unit. <laughs> fuel cell stack. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Humidifier, air processing system, fuel processing system. What is that? Oh, there's no label on it. So you don't know, do you? It's an EGR. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> EGR crazy look at this the reflection's really bad but it basically shows what it all is that's pretty cool there's the fuel cells guys that's wild dang that must be where it gets filled up at all right guys so we're back over here the next day we thought we were gonna be able to drive the hyundai truck here the hydrogen fuel cell truck but there are some insurance hurdles i guess there was an accident out here on the ride and drive yesterday so they've completely shut down letting other people drive this truck because it's a hydrogen fuel cell and requires special insurance we're gonna get to ride in it let's see what it's like on the inside that maybe we'll get him to get on the throttle a little bit the power i don't know but keeping keep your minds open guys just keep your minds open it's the future of trucking or the future of fuels of trucking, things like that. But comment down below, what do you think about this truck thus far? Let's get inside this thing. All right, guys, here we go. All right, okay, Ryan can make it too. All right, thank you Thank so you. Much. Well, we're inside the uh, hydrogen fuel cell truck. What's it like being a driver? Oh, I love it. I love the truck. I've been driving the last four years these days. Oh, wow, so you've been driving this one that many? Yes. Wow, okay. 
All right, so here's Steve in the Hyundai. Am I saying that right, or how do you? Steve, yeah, it's a Hyundai. Hyundai, okay. Yep, you got it. There we go. <laughs> Pronouncing it wrong this whole time, Hyundai. <laughs> cab Ford, cab over semi-truck, hydrogen fuel cell. I mean, you said you've been driving for yes. Hyundai how long now? Four years for them. And you've been driving thirty-five years specific truck. This, yeah, this, this is the Gen Two, okay. which has changed a little bit of features on. I think the dash, so far, what I've seen. But other than that, it's basically the same. But it's a great truck. So, what do you think about this after being in the trucking industry for so long and driving other trucks? The truth is, I would switch to one of these in a heartbeat from diesel. Seems to be the general consensus with anything that's more of a. It's alternative quiet, fuel or quiet it's vehicle. Smooth. Like any of the trucks you look at, they're on four airbags. This is on 14 airbags. Like a Cadillac. Yeah, so it's four on the cab. Yeah. Two on the front axle. Uh -huh. Yep. And then yeah. you've got eight on the rear axles. Uh huh. Yeah. And going back into a cab over, that's what I first started in years ago. So what do you, th yeah, that's my next question. I guess, what do you think about the cab over design? Oh, I love this thing. As you can just. Yeah, the steering turning radius is pretty incredible. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that in a no, uh, not at dimensional. All. Yeah. So it yeah, it handles like a dream. I took this up the Cajon Pass from LA with a load of uh, sheet metal in the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Apple Valley, and yeah, you didn't fill it. I yep. stopped at the bottom of the mountain, took off 55 in a heartbeat. Now, what do you think about? the cab over design with fuel economy i mean i know it's a different type of fuel but yeah you think that the hydrogen will ever come in a traditional truck i think so i think other trucks are the brands are doing it but i think they will i think because this is a european uh truck yeah is the reason why they got a cab over do you think hyundai will stick with the cab over style for what they have going on i'm not sure if they will or not they might change for the united states or something mm -hmm. But for now, it's here and working. Yeah, I love what, it. What horsepower do you think it is? I don't, it's got a lot. I'm not sure. Because uh, <laughs> when I stepped on it, you, this, it will smoke the tires. Really? Yeah. It's got that much torque. And it's instant power. It does what 500 miles between Phillips. That's pretty incredible. It takes 20 minutes to fill it up. Yeah. And they're going down to 10 minutes. They're just figuring out the last tweaks on it. They said, and it should be next year, they should have it. So. You, uh, what do you think about the impressions of people over the road whenever you pull up the Oh, I get a lot of thumbs stops, up. Things like that, I yeah. did a show last month in Texas at uh, the state capital of Austin. Okay. Yeah, even the, the uh, state troopers were there, and they were saying, about time, they couldn't believe it. It was Yeah, there. the technology's yeah. coming. Uh-huh. It's definitely a unique truck. We actually have the only Scania semi-truck here in the USA right now. Okay. A brand new one. It's really similar. Tech. It's a diesel, of course. Right. It's a really similar technology to the suspension of the cab and uh -huh. cab over and turning radius. You have it on the internet, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen it. Yeah, the blue one. Blue one. Yeah. It's about time that this technology comes to the U.S., I think. Yes. I, it, it's way overdue. Had some pretty good impressions of people uh, riding in the truck today so far. Oh, every one of them. Yeah. Every one of them. No complaints. Even the day I started doing this four years ago, every one of them. But yeah, I can't complain myself. Like I said, I can't wait. Hopefully, I'm still around when everything switches over to this. Yeah, right. I mean, <laughs> who knows when it'll be? It could be uh -huh. next week or yeah. 10 years. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking us on a, a little quick trip around the oh, block. Oh, no problem. My pleasure. I mean, it's really pretty spacious as a driver. I mean, how do you yeah. feel about the driver's face? Oh, yeah. Then they got the new cup holder and this still in here, yep. right here, before it was over there. So it's, they're making it changes and stuff. And I can't wait to comes into it. This is a Hyundai, a Hyundai cab also, a Hyundai yeah, truck? Yeah, everything not... they do is Hyundai. Okay, so it's actually, the they actually manufacture yeah, it themselves. The seats, okay. steering wheel, you name it, it's all Hyundai. That's cool. That's why I'm shocked. Everybody farms their stuff up. Yeah, everything here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Nothing is made by the manufacturer. Yep. Just has their name on it. Yep. There we go. There you go. All right. Well, there's our ride in the Hyundai cab over. All right, guys. So there you have it. We got to take a ride in the Hyundai truck. Didn't get to drive it like we wanted, but that's okay. Maybe we'll find another chance in the future to drive one of these trucks over the road, kind of like what we're doing with the Scania. But you can kind of hear this thing making some noises and doing different things other than guy in the dumpster in the background back there but 
Yeah, you got it polished out looking really, really nice. Really nice. There it goes. He has a bag on front and rear of each axle. Definitely a really unique truck. You cannot deny the technology that's coming in the future of trucking, that's for sure. So well, let's go inside and see what else we can get into, guys. Speaking of more electric trucks or hydrogen, maybe? A hydrogen engine auto car? I still don't quite understand how a hydrogen engine works. I need to do some more YouTube research, if I'm being honest. So it's got a hydraulic oil tank, so it must have a wet kit or something. I'm not sure. That's got the same Meritor axles as what's in our trucks that we're running over at Revolt. Interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool looking though. I like that they like made it look good though. Like the covers and stuff. Actually looks good. Auto car. Now let's go to the Peterbilt booth. I hear they have a completely brand new dash inside of these things. So let's go check that out. All right, guys, we made it over here to the Peterbilt booth with the 579 EV. This is a day cab truck, but we're not really pointing out that it's an EV, but more or less the new infotainment on the dash, the infotainment computer, screen, radio, some air switches that are inside here that are completely new that aren't even available in the diesel trucks that's coming later this year, according to our buddy. Tommy Fitzgerald at Fitzgerald Peterbilt. He wanted me to get some content to send him, but at the same time, I want to show it to you guys. So let's hop in here and check it out. All right, so now checking out this new dash, first thing you see is this big, huge iPad looking structure, but then you've got switches here. You no longer have the big air handles, air, air buttons inside here for releasing the parking brake and setting the parking brake. You now have rocker switches that activate a electronic brake valve on the frame now, but check this out. All of your AC controls, your radio, all of that is now built into the screen here, which is pretty crazy. I mean, it's actually really, really nice. We still have switches and stuff over here that you would normally have. Um, I thought the switches might be disappearing, but no, we have this big infotainment system. We can scroll through here and check out Apple CarPlay. That's crazy. I mean, this is stuff that should have been in trucks 10 years ago that's just now here, which is pretty wild. Bluetooth. Now see how you set, how do you set up your, oh, there we go. Dude, that's crazy. I don't know if this controls your AC or if that controls, oh, right there is a temperature button. Oh, okay, so you click that to what you want to control. So right there it controls temp, sound for the radio. And then you've got your fan controls right there that turn everything up and down. Pretty cool, guys. I'd say that uh, trucking has been waiting a long time to get access to this stuff. I'm glad to finally see it in some trucks, even if it is a Peterbilt. We're not hating, but uh, that's really, really cool. All right, so we got to talk about something. You guys were pointing out in the video we just posted about my haircut. It's a little, it's a little different, no doubt. I can't explain to you guys how hard it is to find a good barber, especially when you've had a barber for a long time when we were in Florida and moved to Tennessee and floating around and there ain't very many barber shops in Jamestown. So we found one in Austin back home in Florida for the week or for a couple days. And I said, hey, I just make it look good. Well, he left this. So we found a hat. We got a hat on. So back guys, we're back over here at the international booth. We got to see all kinds of cool things they have. But this is the Bev battery electric vehicle full battery powered truck, but something I want to show you guys on the inside of the International. Now we've seen it across almost all brands are the push button brake switches. So almost every brand here in the US is now going to a fully electronic parking brake. And it now has a digital dash inside of there. So that's really cool. We've had some really great talks with the guys here at International about the HX series truck that's going to be releasing with the S13 engine. Towards the end of the year, we're gonna to get to go, potentially and most likely gonna to get to go tour their proving grounds in Illinois, and then maybe go tour the factory in Mexico where the international trucks are put together. Um, they go to Alabama, the engine assembly plant, all kinds of really cool things. Hopefully, most likely coming in the future where they some kind of a partnership deal with international, and that's super duper exciting, guys. Super exciting.
Well, guys, we had an awesome time at the ACT Expo. Shout out to Revolt Motors and ACT for getting us all the way out there and, and having that amazing experience that we had. Definitely plan on returning next year. Right now, we're headed back home from Florida because we flew to California from Florida after the 75 Chrome Shop show. Uh, we have really exciting things going on with the Scania this weekend, so be looking out for the next video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace.